Hi guys and assalamu alaikum welcome to my new blog post blog post 9 and in this blog post I'm going to discuss about the database schema. So before moving further uh, in, uh, towards like database schema I really would like to give you a basic definition about the database schema. So when we talk about the database schema basically database schema is the skeleton structure that basically represents the logical view of the entire database. It defines how the data is actually organized and how the relations among them are actually associated with it. So it basically it formulates all the constraints that are to be applied on the data. So the database schema defines its various entities and its relationships among them. It contains a descriptive detail of the database and that can be depicted by means of schema diagrams, uh, it's the database designers actually who actually design the schema to help other programmers to understand the database and try to make it useful. So when I use the database schema, uh, I mean like there are two types of schemas when it comes to studying about the database schema. So first one is basically the physical schema. So uh, Physical database schema is basically the schema that actually pertains the actual storage of the data and its form of the storage like files, indexes, uh, your various uh, physical tables that exist on the hard disk or where it, the data is actually being stored. So it actually defines how the data will be stored in the in the secondary storage, like uh, what would be the format system of the data uh, or the database file. Uh, then uh, when we talk about the physical schema of the database, uh, we need to talk about like, what is the logical schema? So this is the basically the second type of database schema that I am talking about right now. So basically this schema defines all the logical constraints that need to be applied on the data which is stored. For example, um, a data of student is actually stored in the hard disk or in the physical schema uh, in file structure format, but how that data would be organized. For example, the data of the student is contains the student ID, student names, student age, student address, in which classes it is actually enrolled into. So this kind of logical structure will be defined under the logical schema. Above the logical schema, uh, when we need to get the data we need to talk about the views like how that data would be uh, read like for how that data would be uh, uh, that data which is actually categorized into the various forms of logical schemas how that data could be viewed for the database programmers or for the programmers who are who are going to utilize the data so on the top of that we will create a view of the of that logical database it will contain your various kind of functions sql functions sql views sql uh, store procedures or things like that th th those will be the part of your view so uh, hopefully you will uh, you will understood the concept of the database schema so as always please subscribe like and share my youtube channel yasef fazal and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest updates as soon as the video is upload, uploaded and as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.